Okay, now we're going to get into some of the fun stuff that you can do with ZSH. Some of the stuff that really makes your workflow a lot easier and a lot faster. So um, what I'm going to do here is just change into a demo directory just so we can kind of play around with some of the stuff here. So I'm going to go into Dropbox. Um, that's actually, first of all, that's, that's the first thing right there. I, I want to move into Dropbox and I just started typing DR and you'll notice that the D is lowercase and I just hit tab. And what it does is it takes a look at the possible folders and uh, auto-completes it based on that. We'll take a look at more of the auto-complete in just a second. However, uh, if you did that in Bash, you would get nothing. Why? Because Dropbox has a capital D, and in our case, I typed lowercase d. So uh, it's smart enough to know that there's lowercase and uppercase, and that's probably what you meant. So Dropbox, and then I'm going to go into the command line. Uh, I'm just going to type ls-l or just ls to see what we got in here. We've got a couple files. You see that um, our folders here are color coded a different color. In my case, it's blue colored. Um, and sometimes you'll also have shared folders. You'll have sim links and all of those will show up as a different color, which is really, really handy when you're trying to uh, take a look at what sort of files, folders, sim link, et cetera, et cetera, these are without having to open it up in your finder. Um, so that's one. Um, uh, if I was to make a directory, make their capitalize, and I wanted to move into that, if I hit C, tab, what happens here is something called autocomplete. Um, so I've got the option of capitalize or CSS, because both of those start with C. So by hitting tab, I started that. It shows me them here. And if I hit tab again, it allows me to select that one. I can hit tab again, tab, tab, tab. You get the point. I'd be able to go in there, hit enter, and I can keep typing uh, as much as I would want. That is really, really handy when, let's uh, move into the months directory. So CD months and see what we got in here. This this happens to me all the time where right? I get just like massive fold, uh, folder full of other folders and uh, the names of the folders, uh, they got spaces in them, they got numbers, they've got words that might be hard to spell, they've got capitals, and trying to like CD into November 2014 expenses in Bash would be something like CD November, and then there's a space, so you have to escape it with forward slash space, and then you have to type 2014. It's really not fun to do, and it's one of the most frustrating parts about getting started with command line is that uh, you can't just easily do things like that. So uh, what's really cool is if I want to move into one of those directory, I could just type CD or and this works with any command. I could be doing RM or I could be doing git, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm going to do CD and a space. And when I hit tab, what I see here is just a listing of all of the directories. You can see that they're already escaped for me the forward slash on the end notes that they are directories. I hit tab again, and I'm able to use my up, down, left, and right arrow keys to be able to move through each one, which is really, really nice because uh, if you've ever done this before, you may have seen yourself go like left, 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 and you kind of just have to hammer through them until you get to the one that you want. But with something like this, you can use your arrow keys to go over two, down three, and you're able to get to where you want, hit enter, it auto completes it for you. Enter one more time and we're in that folder. Super, super handy. Another cool thing is uh, um, something called aliases and, and we'll go into sort of all of the aliases in just a second, but uh, right now I need to go up a directory. So rather than typing CD dot dot, I can just type dot dot and it'll go up one directory. Same thing if you did, let me go back in there. Oh, see, that's another kind of fun thing. If I did CD March 21 and it stopped because if I hit tab again, there are three folders, one 2014, 2015, and 2016, of which I may want to go into. So it kind of gives you everything that you've been looking for up until there's a couple of matches. And at that point, you can tab or use your arrow keys to go through them, select the one that you want. So. Again, let's say I want to go up three levels. So this is one level, two level, and I want to end up in the command line directory. I can just type three dots and it jumps me up those three, uh, those three directories there. 
where that tab completion is also handy um, is the ability to type uh, ls. And if I were to hit tab there, it would just kind of give me a listing of things that I wanted there. However, I've been typing like ls-l and there's ls-l to ls dash a thousand other things. And for me to figure out what the like ls dash a or l dash b or whatever all the the flags are i'd have to go online and find some like man page for the bash and kind of dig through them and it, it's not super fast so if you type ls dash and just hit tab what it will do is it will just give you a listing of all of the possible options for ls so if i hit tab again i can see exactly what the flags are as well as a description of what they do. So ls-k gives me print sizes of 1k. LS, there's l, that's what we've been using. ls-m, that's kind of handy. So maybe I want that one. Let's go down here, enter, hit enter again, and it gives me a listing of all of the ones that I want. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, another kind of handy thing is uh, if I were to do uh, echo http westboss.com, just for example, like sometimes you have a link in your terminal and for you to go to that, you'd have to right click, copy, go to your browser, et cetera, et cetera. What you can also do is just hold down your command key and click the URL and it will bring you right to that website. So you'll notice as soon as I press command, watch the cursor right now, it's just a selector. If I hold down command, it turns into little Mickey Mouse hand and I can go ahead and click that. Other things we have are um, something called take. Take is really, really cool because uh, let's say I want to make a directory and then move into it. What I would usually do is like make dir west and then cd west and then I'd be in it. However, ZSH puts that sort of into one command and it's called take. So I'll make another directory called uh, Kate. So I'll do take. Kate, oops, and hit enter. And what that did is it created the entire folder as well as CD'd me into that. Uh, that may not seem like a big deal. However, it's really nice to be able to do it in one single command rather than two. And I can't tell you the amount of times where I've created the directory, but forgot to actually move into it before I started creating all my files. And, and before you know it, you've got files all over the place that you didn't mean to do. I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you check out my book and video series, Sublime Text Power User, at sublimetextbook.com. Use coupon code COMMANDLINE for 10 bucks off. As always, make sure to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, at WestBoss, W-E-S-B-O-S. -S. Talk to you again soon.